Welcome drone video fans and this is the 11th video in my series on the covered bridges of Ashtabula County. Today we will be looking at the South Denmark Road Bridge, a bridge that was built somewhere between uh, 1890 and 1895 during the presidency either of Benjamin Harrison or Grover Cleveland. We're flying up on the eastern face of the bridge here and as we enter the bridge you'll see full-length timbers that that run that span the the entire length 81 foot length of the bridge and those uh, uh, add structural and uh, weight uh, bearing support for the bridge which um, uh, needs it it's it's only got a weight carrying capability of four tons so uh, definitely not a bridge to be uh, bringing a, a school bus or cement mixer over. Um, the bridge itself has uh, had some renovation work done to it, but not extensive renovation. For example, you don't see any uh, addition of arches along the side, but you do see some addition of uh, reinforcement timbers and uh, steel channel iron, which have been added along the side to uh, uh, increase the uh, strength and double up where uh, some of the timbers have failed. Here we're looking at such an area where there's a, a couple of doubled up uh, timbers. Usually what happens is there's some rotting that occurs and then they've um, added some timbers to uh, uh, take up the stress of the uh, rotted timbers. And then of course there's that angle iron added in uh, and it's on both sides of the bridge, on both sides of the bridge. There's a placard that we're going to focus on now that gives the bridge information, tells that it's of town lattice construction, when it was made, uh, how long it is, uh, how long the span is, um, and the fact that it goes over Mill Creek, which is really officially uh, known as a stream. The little blue placard uh, to the right of the main one is just gives some um, bridge uh, information about its bridge number. And as we uh, continue to uh, turn here, we're going to look out the western side of the bridge. And uh, you'll see uh, a farm out in the distance. I'm not sure what kind of a farm that is. did see some uh, animals out there uh, way in the distance um, as I rotated here, but I wasn't sure whether those were horses or cows or, or what they were. But uh, well now we're turning and uh, going to face the, the uh, western view of the face of the bridge and uh, uh, when we face the, the bridge fully on you'll be able to see some of the uh, face uh, timber damage uh, caused by rot which has occurred uh, over the years. Uh, uh, we're climbing up a little bit now to get some uh, altitude and make a pass over the top of this bridge and you'll notice um, how much the trees are are blowing in the wind. It was uh, a pretty windy day when I made this shoot, uh, winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, uh, perhaps more, but um, it was, Phantom uh, 3 was able to handle it pretty well. We're flying over the top of the bridge, and once we get uh, uh, in position here over the top of the bridge, kind of take a look down and see the roof, where you can see that uh, most, if not all, of the uh, capping shingles on the roof have uh, uh, blown off uh, during um, you know some of the uh, storms that have occurred over you know the past years uh, not sure exactly when that happened but it's probably something that needs to uh, be addressed uh, now we're going to turn and face the southern view of uh, Mill Creek stream and uh, again very placid uh, hardly looks like it's moving at all but that's pretty typical of the Mill Creek because it winds and turns so much uh, in, um, in every which direction. Uh, here's another view of the uh, farm uh, that's just to the west of this uh, bridge on uh, South Denmark Road. As we turn, continue to turn and we're looking north now, you can see the bypass bridge which was added in 1975. That bridge uh, allows people to uh, be able to traverse uh, Denmark Road um, from where you can see all the way down there from the west. 
and as we continue to pan here we're we're panning now and we're going to be uh, looking to the east and that road does wind around uh, back in that direction where you could actually go over the bridge from that direction again now we're, we're looking north here at the northern part of Mill Creek stream and uh, we're turning back and, and facing towards the east uh, to get a, another uh, quick view of the the top of the bridge and uh, some of the trees that uh, uh, are on the eastern uh, front face of the uh, of the bridge itself um, and I think perhaps those trees have uh, provided uh, some uh, weathering protection which is why the the eastern face looks uh, much better than the uh, western face. Now as we back up here and, and get ready to drop down and take a look at the uh, at the uh, um, um, Mill Creek stream uh, you'll be able to see some of the uh, damage on the uh, uh, left side of the front of the western face of the bridge uh, what she didn't see on the peak of the roof was uh, the remnants of a, a tremendous uh, hornet's nest and I was just very glad that the, they weren't around while I was uh, doing this shoot. The, the road itself uh, you can see that uh, uh, is not particularly good shape either but uh, it's serviceable and, and uh, uh, people do uh, still use the bridge. Getting ready to go now and drop down into the little valley that uh, contains the um, um, Mill Creek stream. So we fly past some of the uh, supports and uh, start uh, uh, getting ourselves centered over uh, Mill Creek and we're turning back towards the uh, northern face of the bridge itself. You can see the uh, sign work that's part of the Ashtabula County uh, Covered Bridge uh, Festival they put these uh, signs up on the sides of the bridges so that people know that they're uh, actually looking at one of the bridges that's part of the uh, festival. See the uh, the cutouts for uh, allowing uh, some light and air and again this is the uh, northern face and it actually doesn't look too bad. The, the roof doesn't look that bad except for the um, missing uh, uh, cap shingles that are uh, no longer on the top and uh, so now we're going to drop down a little bit and get uh, to within about four feet of the uh, water uh, so that we can possibly uh, get a view of the underneath side of the bridge itself and some of the support beams and the uh, foundation work underneath. The water as you can see is uh, pretty silty. Um, uh, actually once I get out of the uh, bright sunlight I, I pan my, my gimbal down and and look down into the water and you can see the prop wash there. According to uh, EPA uh, there's uh, uh, largemouth and rock bass in this stream. Uh, there's the underneath side of the bridge and on the uh, eastern edge you can see that the foundation is of quarried stone and as we turn and pan over here to the western edge it's um, uh, made from concrete and probably uh, um, cement block underneath there. This looking south and now we're turning and we'll be looking north again capturing a, a bit of a view of the uh, bypass bridge that allows cars to uh, not have to use the uh, this um, uh, South Denmark Road bridge since it is of limited weight bearing capability. Uh, climb up a little bit here and then I'm going to once again pan uh, to the left and right to uh, you know see the, uh, uh, the the bypass bridge which they have installed and uh, this again was installed in uh, 1975 and uh, yeah, there's no uh, limit that I saw there's a, a lady walking around the edge of the guardrail over there she had walked all the way around uh, and got onto the side of this bridge so she could get a uh, a picture, a still picture of the northern face of the bridge which of course is something I didn't have to do uh, having the advantage of flying a, a drone to uh, do my aerial photography for me. So we're, we're going to back up now and uh, and try to uh, extricate ourselves out of that little valley and 
go past the trees and go over the the um, cement over here and uh, again we'll be facing the uh, the west western face of the of the uh, bridge and you can again see some of the uh, rot damage on the uh, face boards uh, in the distance you can see some uh, people at the other end of the bridge while I was shooting a group of uh, senior motorcycle uh, riders uh, came out and uh, visited the bridge and I kind of let let them have their time and interrupted my uh, my shoot and let them see what they wanted to see and as we go down here we'll be able to see a few more examples of where they have uh, doubled up on timbers timbers which uh, may have been um, uh, rotted somewhere near the uh, the floor level uh, and then had uh, additional timbers added alongside them um, the the original timbers are pegged in place the new ones uh, are using uh, metal hardware. There's a guy standing there off on the left is, with his wife and they're allowing me to uh, make my way through the through the bridge. Uh, and this would be the, uh, again, the east side of the bridge. We're turning here just to uh, get a quick look out the uh, window and to see some of the uh, the um, work on the uh, on the timbers uh, themselves and. Uh, uh, get a little idea of the uh, construction techniques used. Again, you might notice some uh, peg and dowel work there, and uh, the couple is uh, waiting there for me to to uh, make my way through the uh, eastern side of the bridge. And you can see my car parked in the uh, distance there as uh, I exit the uh, the bridge. Uh, road is actually you know not that bad. There's plenty of parking. Uh, it's a nice place with plenty of shade you can have a picnic lunch here if you decide to visit um, this is the south Denmark Road Bridge um, and um, it's just one in a series of 18 bridges in Ashtabula County Ohio I hope you enjoyed this video and stop back and see uh, the next one thanks for thanks for watching